Starfetches is a game about two inner city thugs, Sanyadi and Zambezi. Their goal climb the tower, defeat lower level thugs, raise their threat level, and meet up with the elusive dog man himself. But how are they gonna get there? By hopelessly flailing around samurai swords, and I mean hopeless. Along the way, you'll meet the average American citizen, the gaslight gatekeep Girl Scouts, Goblin Babies, Mexican Gangsters, Drug Carts, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. And many more. When you think of an indie game, you think of a game that was made by one or a handful of people that used the limited resource that they have to create unique ideas and concepts that a AAA developer may not have to create. This makes the game in of itself more impressive despite the many flaws the game can have. How this relates to Starfetchers we'll get into in a second, but considering the game was made by only a few people, alongside many translators, take this in mind when I attempt to convince you to play it. Now, as I've said before, Starfetchers is a game that follows the two gangsters, Sanyadi and Zambezi of the Thorns game. You run into gangs, in this case only two, as of recording, the pilot's the only part of the game that is out right now. And as you do so, you get to know more about the relationship that Sanyadi and Zambezi develop as they bury bodies in a massive grave and jump out of windows. Speaking of burying bodies, the gameplay. The gameplay consists of light platforming and moving the mouse to widely swing your sword around, deflect bullets, and cut dudes in half. It's like Katana Zero, only in my opinion, way more wonky and to really use of some form of tweaking. I'd honestly love to see the guns that are used by the enemies to be used by the player. You know, my friend Pedro style. Speaking of style, this game oozes personality. In my opinion, it's literally the best part of the game. The art and music have this weird, gloomy, and sometimes cheery vibe to it, kind of like my channel and its inspiration, Built Swim. You can probably see why I like the game so much and wanted to talk about it. So I'm actually just going to play some of the music, I, yeah, uninterrupted. It's been going on in the background the entire video, but now I'm just going to let you listen to it. I mean, it might not be everybody's thing, but I can only give you so many reasons for an hour-long pilot of the game, which I forgot to mention is free, so there literally is no risk if you don't enjoy it. Just go down in the description, I left the Steam link there, download it, and uh, play it. It literally takes like an hour to 30 minutes long, and if you enjoy it, maybe even hit them up on the Kickstarter or follow them on Twitter for updates on the project. And while you're still down in the description, if you want, hit the subscribe button and even hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like it. I'd really appreciate it, you know, it means a lot. I just want to share more stuff that I care about that maybe not too many other people would. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video whenever that comes out. Alright, see ya.